everyone welcome to my channel my name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarters ah, so today's video is still about Emily Ashley in the midst of all the accusation leveled against her like ending of 2022 like those Christmas time there was a lot of accusation against her that you know people said a lot of things so on the 1st of January, she has also come out to say something, which I would like you guys to just listen attentively while I read them for you. So she said, every year end, we all make a resolution to change who we are and what we do. Why not give it a turn? Make a resolution to be yourself. The world will only accept what they want. It is important for you to be fulfilled in everything you do. Don't worry about what people say about you or lies people make up on you. Continue to be yourself. Their inner light will shine through someday. No one can ever be in the dark forever. There is always light at the end of every tunnel. As the year ends today, stay focused. Don't look back on yesterday's disappointment. Look ahead to God's promises yet to unfold in your life. What feels like the end is always the beginning. Always remember something. Some things must end for some things to begin. Don't be too hard on yourself. Life is too short to worry about people's opinions about you. Give to those who ask and don't refuse those who wish to borrow from you. Let the good in you come out always. Remember, people are not jealous of what you have. They are only jealous of what they can't have. If people are jealous of who you are and what you are doing, then you are doing something right. From all of us at Ashley Adegoke Foundation, we say cheers to a new year and another chance for us to get it right. Signed by our founder, Haruya Highness Olori Ashley Afolasha De Ade Guisi Ojaja too. So this right up here is what um, Olori Ashley posted on her page, um, and a lot of people picked something to talk about from here, which I'm going to like tell you guys here. That is where she said. Um, no one can ever be in the dark forever. There is always light at the end of every tunnel. You know these lies that been going on for some times now about Olori Ashley. She did this. She did that. Um, now, ending of this um, this December that just passed, a whole lot of truth came out. All those things we are just all fabricated stories from people that do not like her, or from people that claim that they love Queen Naomi. Or people that claim that they are fighting for Queen Naomi, which um, they are not supposed to lie against Olori Ashley. Now they are coming out to confess, to say sorry to Olori Ashley. You know, like she said uh, somewhere in her write up, she said, Don't worry about what people say about you or lies people make up on you. Continue to be yourself, their inner light will shine through someday. No one can be in the dark forever. You see? So all the lies now that have been talked about Olori Ashley has come out now to be completely fabricated stories. You know, we bloggers, sometimes um, um, we don't really like check and ask ourselves, is this really the truth? You know, we just come out and start, you know, saying it without having that feeling that the person we are talking about will be hot like the way people drag olori ashley 2021 2022 they are still dragging her up to this new year well i believe that that god have started vindicating her will continue one thing about lies people can lie ab about you for many years but one day the truth must surely prevail and that is what is happening in Uluri Ashley's life right now. And I'm happy that she never come out one day to set camera, set ring light and start, you know, defending herself or talking and talking and doing that or doing that. 
God just fought her battle and I believe if you are watching this video too and you, you are go, passing through this kind of thing, just relax. One day, the truth will come out. Truth, it will only take time, but one day, truth will come out. So, this is what I said. Let me come and share with you guys. God has vindicated Olori Ashley. The lies that are told about her has been exposed. I don't know if you've come across those videos, but I believe you come across them in this YouTube. Many of them are now asking for forgiveness, that they never knew that all the things that they said about Olori Ashley we are all lies. And I'm happy about that. Like some, one thing about life, when you are wrong and you come out to apologize, is good. May we continue to say the truth to stop joining people to drag people's name. In the name of you are a fan of Olori Ashley or you are a fan of Olori uh, Miriam or, or you are a fan of Queen Naomi or whatever. One thing people should know that Queen Ashley has, um, Queen Naomi has moved on. If Queen Naomi wants to come out, uh, if Queen Naomi wants to come back to the palace, she will. If she does not want to come out, nobody is going to force her. But if truly that she will come back, she will come back. Olori Ashley cannot stop her from coming back. And Olori Ashley cannot um, make her to come back. All decision lies on Queen, Queen Naomi. She's an adult. I wonder people that is defending her like she's the one telling them what to say. Whereas they don't even know Queen Naomi from anywhere. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just drop your thoughts on the comment section and I will see you on my next video. Bye.